Hey guys, welcome back. So recently I got a request from one of our subscribers, Ahmad, to discuss pivot tables with a slicer. So how to build a pivot table with a slicer. So in this video, we're going to discuss how we can go from this, which is just our row data, transaction date, and sales amount to this here, which is an interactive pivot chart with a slicer. And this slicer slices our data by month. And the chart shows us how much sales are we getting in each weekday so that we can determine which day of the week are we getting the most sales on. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so here we have our raw data and we want to create a pivot chart that shows us the sales per weekday and we're gonna create a slicer to slice our data by months as well. So the first thing to do is to create a table out of our data. So I'm gonna select a cell inside our data here, go to insert and then table, and then I'm gonna click okay here and I'm gonna change the formatting of the table here to this green color. And now we need to create a weekday column. So a column that shows us the weekday for each transaction date. So I'm going to create another column here. I'm going to call it weekday. And to get the weekday out of our date, we have multiple options. One of them is to use the weekday function and then create a custom number formatting that would show us the weekday, but this would be just formatting. I actually prefer to create a text value inside our cell and we would do that using the text function. So I'm gonna write equals text here and then the value here is gonna be our transaction date and then the formatting is gonna be according to custom number formatting rules and it's gonna be four Ds here. And if you need to learn more about that, you can check my Excel custom number formatting masterclass. I'll leave you the link below in the description. So I'm gonna press enter here and this will show us the weekday actually for each transaction date. And I'm gonna double click here to send the formula down. Now we're gonna create our pivot table. So I'm gonna highlight a cell inside my pivot table here, go to insert pivot table, and we're gonna put it on the existing worksheet. I'm gonna put it in cell H4 here, and we're gonna click okay. And now to slice our data by month as well, we will need a month name field. So actually in Excel 2016 and in Office 365, if you check this transaction date here, Excel will automatically group your data by months, and it will create a month field for you here that would have have your dates grouped by months but actually another way to do it that would work on any excel version is to create a month name column here and just to create a formula for it equals text and then the value would be my transaction date and the format would be three m's here and we're going to close our brackets press enter and we're going to double click and send the formula down and now we have a month name as a text column here as part of our data. And if we right click on our pivot table, refresh, you can see here we have our month name column, but we actually need our data to be for with the weekday on the rows here and the summation of values to be the sales amount. So now we've built our pivot table and I'm going to change the design here for my pivot table and I'm going to choose a different color here. So I'm going to choose this color and I'm going to insert a pivot chart here to chart our data. So insert, I'm going to click on pivot chart, pivot chart, and you can see here it's recommending a cluster column chart. And this is what I want. I'm going to click okay here. So I'm going to have a cluster column chart here and we can do some formatting to our chart. So we can select our grid lines, press delete to remove the grid lines here. We can change the title. So sales by weekday, and we can change the color here for our bars. So we're gonna make them dark green here. And we can also remove these buttons. So right click and hide all field buttons on chart. And now I'm gonna create the green background for the chart. So I'm gonna select some cells here, and then I'm gonna fill them with this light green color here. And I'm gonna right click here on the chart and then format chart area. And I'm gonna remove the fill, no fill. And I'm gonna remove the border as well, no border. And I'm gonna remove this total legend here as we don't need it. And we're starting to get to the final shape of our report. Now I'm gonna insert my slicer here. So I'm gonna select any cell inside my pivot table and then go to insert and then slicer. And I'm gonna select to slice by month name. So the slicer is actually a filter that would filter by the selected field that we're gonna select here. So we wanna actually filter by month name. So I'm gonna click okay here. So here's our slicer. So we can actually change the colors for our slicer so that it would blend nicely with our background here. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new 
CPU slicer style. So I'm going to select my slicer here and then go to options and then click on this arrow, click on new slicer style and I'm going to call it sales slicer 2 and then I'm going to click here on this whole slicer. So this is where you can change how your slicer looks. So first of all, for the whole slicer, I'm going to click on format here and I'm going to change the fill to be this light green so that it would have the same color as the background so that it would blend with the background and then for the border I'm gonna select none here then I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna go to the selected item with data here so that we would change the color for the selected item to a dark green so I'm gonna click on it click on format here and then for the fill I'm gonna fill it with this dark green color here and then I'm gonna click OK and then I'm going to click OK here. So actually the formatting that I created has not been applied. So I've got to select it here from these custom formats. So here is Sales Slicer 2. If I click on it, now I have my slicer and it blends nicely with the background. As you can see here, I'm able to select the month and it shows me the sales by weekday. And the slicer is simply just a filter that looks more user friendly than to put a filter here on your pivot table. So when you create a slicer, it's the same effect as putting the month name here in the filter section and filtering using the filters here. So this is the same effect. We're just, instead of filtering through the month name in the filter section, we just filter by selecting the month name from the slicer. Now, sometimes you might have some months that would not have any data so you would have them here in the list but right now we do not have them as all our months have data but if you have some months that do not have any data so if you right click on the slicer go to slicer settings here you gotta click on hide items with no data and then click ok because you would find some items here that when you select you the chart would not show you anything so you gotta hide the items without data so this guys was an example on how you can create a pivot table with a slicer and we created here an interactive pivot chart that we made interactive using our slicer so i hope you liked the video today thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching the video if you like the video, press the like button. Make sure to share it with your friends as well. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'd be notified with each new video. You can download the example workbook through the link below in the description. Make sure as well to check my Excel courses, links below in the description as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.